Um, a very good afternoon to everyone who has chosen to join us today. So um, first of all, a very warm welcome to the NUS College uh, Outreach Webinar. So this is the first in a series of webinars that we will be having to share with you guys um, a bit more about NUS and US College and studying with us. Okay, so um, once again, a very warm welcome. Today, we are very happy to have so many of you join us. So we are joined by um, our Vice Dean of Outreach, um, Associate Professor Prof. Kwek Suing, as well as two students, uh, Diksha Kapoor and uh, Clara. So um, you can see all of us on the stage, as well as um, Ms. Winnie Suliyong, who is our Head of Outreach and Admissions. So I'll give a quick introduction to our panelists today, and we'll do a quick walkthrough of what you can expect in the upcoming hour. And um, yeah, so I just like to remind everyone that we do have a Q&A feature as well. So at any point in time, if you have any questions or if you want to find out more, please feel free to make use of the Q&A uh, feature to type in your questions. Alternatively, you can also ask us uh, later on after the sharing is done. All right. So a quick introduction to our um to to the people who will be sharing today. So first of all, we are joined by Associate Professor uh, Kwek Suing. She is the Vice Dean of, of Outreach at NUS College. She oversees admissions, outreach, communications, alumni, and donor relations. So she's also an Associate Professor at the Department of Physics at the NUS Faculty of Science. So she got her bachelor degree in mathematics from Cambridge and a master's of science in applied mathematics and her PhD in applied physics from Harvard. She was a postdoctoral fellow at the Berkeley Lab and A-star before joining NUS in 2013. Okay, so we have two students uh, who are currently students with us at NUS College, Diksha Kapoor and Clara Cha, and I'll let them introduce themselves. So Diksha, maybe you could go first. Sure, thank you so much, Benjamin. Hello everyone, my name is Diksha Kapoor and I'm a penultimate student at NUS College pursuing a Bachelor of Business Administration Honours in Marketing and a minor in Communications and New Media. Um, I, am, I would say I'm an avid debater and orator having delivered a TEDx speech on achieving successful failure and even being debate president back in high school. And I think I would say I have a penchant for intellectually stimulating challenges, constantly pushing myself to engage with these topics and um, uh, nuanced um, um, areas of uh, knowledge, trying to engage with them and gain a deeper understanding. I think through NUS College, I'm I, I'm one of the ambassadors, as you can see, where it's provided me with, an, with the privileged identity. Um, I'm privileged to be here and also it's my second home and I've I've taken part in various activities for example the Asian undergraduate symposium or the global experience program which I'm looking forward to sharing more about with you with all of you um on to you Clara hi everyone I'm Clara I'm a year three student majoring in law and actually currently I'm not in Singapore I'm in Vietnam on exchange semester and some of my hobbies include traveling and playing the drums and I'm also part of the live core interest group in NUS College, where I play in two bands in NUS College, where, where I perform for school events like the start and end of semester dinners, which is something that you can look forward to if you're a student in NUS College. So um, as part of NUS College Club, I'm also actively involved in the Secretariat, where I was previously the Spaces Director, and I currently serve as the Deputy Honorary General Secretary where I basically help to manage recreational spaces and things like our NUS College website. So um, when I come back from exchange next semester, I also look forward to serving the community as the residential assistant. And um, just like Deeksha mentioned, NUS College is also a second home to me. Yeah. So if you have any questions about any of my experiences, you can ask me along the way using the Q&A function, as Benjamin mentioned, or doing the Q&A section later on. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much, Diksha and Clara. All right. So we're going to kick this session off with a combined sharing by Prof Quack and Diksha. And this is really to give you a deeper understanding into what it is, we, who we are at NUS College and what are some of the programs that we offer you and some of the available opportunities. Okay. So without further ado, Prof Quack, over to you. Hi, everyone. It's good to have all of you here. We'll just kick this off with a short video that describes what NUS College is in a nutshell. What is learning like at NUS College? Well, expect things to be a little different. 
A final paper on culture and diplomacy? How about a final painting? Nice! We also don't just study abroad. By Paris, we truly study broadly. Working across multiple points of view, not just to grow the next startup unicorn, but to reimagine the world's most complex problems. Maybe do both at the same time. Here, we always put in the work to build a community. Thanks, Bianca. Living together and always there for each other. Because for us, learning is not just about getting answers from books, but getting answers from real life. So you won't just learn to follow a formula, but stretch the limits of your curiosity. At NUS College, you'll see things from a new perspective, discover a new community, and open your world. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that uh, clip just now. So NUS College is the honors college within NUS, the National University of Singapore. And let's just talk a little bit about NUS first. So NUS is actually one of the top universities in the world. It is in the top 10. And one of the reasons it's been in the top 10 is that we are really close to the top for global employability. And this is something that is very important to all of you. And in short, this means that somebody who graduates with a degree from NUS is very likely to be able to secure a good job all over the world. And this is a testament to the investment that we have put into our pedagogy and our education. In addition to that, NUS is also a research university. We have a top-notch research and we are a very comprehensive university. So we offer more than 60 bachelor's degrees and more than 130 double concurrent and joint degrees. So what is NUS College? As I mentioned, it is the Honours College of NUS. And what that means is that it is fully integrated into NUS. And we take in about 6 to 7% of each year's undergraduate cohorts across the university. So with over 60 majors available. And the purpose of the Honours College is to enhance the basic degree. So these are some of the academic pathways that are accessible to you if you are in NUS College. So all our NUS College students are also students in NUS. And we can have more than 60 different majors and as well as access to second majors, minors and electives. So these are the majors that are available. You see that we even have music. And what the academic program looks like is as follows. So this is the four-year roadmap in NUS. We have the um, faculty major courses. I'm just going to get out the pointer. Right, which will be part of your bachelor's degree. And then instead of doing your common curriculum in your faculty, and I'll talk more about that later, you take courses in NUS College, and these will be the courses and spread out also throughout the four years. And these are the ones which play a role in enhancing your degree. So to give you a big picture overview, NUS College is one of the faculties in NUS, and it is one of the three interdisciplinary colleges. And here we refer to a college as a faculty. Okay. So NUS College works with the degree-bearing faculties on admissions processes as well as on academics. At the same time, we are also working closely with the NUS Office of Student Affairs and Global Affairs because uh, we are uniquely a faculty that requires all our students to live on campus and also requires all our students to go overseas to access global opportunities. Alongside uh, these faculties, there are also what we call residential colleges. They are not faculties, but they do provide a few courses for students who enroll in these colleges. So what is the difference? So NUS College is a faculty with a compulsory residential component, and we admit students into NUS. And we work with our degree pairing faculties, the partner faculties on this process, right? And students are required to take 14 courses, typically, 
in the NUS college curriculum. But this number actually varies depending on what's your degree. So it is a four-year commitment. We have a mandatory Global Pathways program. So I, I want to mention the residential college because sometimes students get a little bit confused. So a residential college is, is a place of residence where students can be at, uh, can apply to stay in. They must be admitted into the NUS faculty before you can accept a place in the residential college. And here, you actually can take four to five courses from the curriculum in the provided by the residential college. And it is a two-year commitment. So in contrast to NUS college, which is a four-year commitment. So the, the vision for NUS college is to bring in a diverse cohort from across the university, from different parts of the world, to come together, to live and learn together. And this, in this way, we want to build a community of engaged learners that learn to connect across boundaries and stretch one another to act courageously for the world. What's our mission? We like to say we break open the classroom, as you saw in the video clip just now. So our objectives are to help our students become better problem solvers, critical thinkers, and also positive change makers. So here we emphasize not just uh, um, enhancing your critical thinking skills and your problem solving skills, but we also hope that through your experience here in NUS College uh, and your interactions with others, you develop and grow that passion for making a positive change in the world. So as we have mentioned, we bring in a diverse cohort and we have now 61 majors, 31 nationalities, and 210 feeder schools represented in our college. Two years of residence is required for graduation, and the first year is compulsory. There are many benefits of residential life, and I will talk more about that later. And you will, of course, hear from, our, uh, from Diksha and even Clara later on this matter. So you have seen that I've mentioned something about academics. I've mentioned something about the community. So here in NUS College, our students enhance their basic NUS degree with a sum of three parts, the formal curriculum, experiential learning, as well as the community. And with that, I'm going to hand over to Diksha, who is going to share from her personal experience how, how she has benefited from these uh, three components here in NUS College and what her experience is. Stick share over to you. Sure. Thank you so much, Prof Quack. I will just share my slides. Um, so just to share a little bit about my NUS College journey so far. Um, so this is me. I am, like I mentioned in, in the beginning of the webinar, I am a penultimate year three student at NUS College pursuing business and communications and new media. So I'm gonna walk you through why I wanted to join NUS College and how is it going so far. Um, so my main objective um, was that I knew that I am someone who values uh, a breadth and a spread of experiences while really focusing and diving deep into uh, my main major. And I think that that is something I knew that I wanted to achieve out of my university experience. Um, getting to know more about NUS College, I understood that uh, I will be able to attain this experience where I will be engaging with lots of areas of knowledge or having a full wholesome experience that I really wanted. So I did International Baccalaureate Diploma Program back in junior college, and I was I went through that uh, wide range of areas of knowledge through the different uh, the, the way that they're structured, their curriculum there. Um, so at the end of the day, in summary, I wanted a broad breadth of experiences while gaining a deep understanding of my main major uh, business, for example. So to dive into how is it going so far, uh, I will first firstly share about how um, the NUS college curriculum and academics really uh, attracted me and how I am experiencing it so far. Um, I think it was truly the synergy of the unique broad-based uh, curriculum specific to NUS College that also called out to me. Uh, for example, I have so far uh, taken up courses such as the Global Social Thought, where I was interacting with um, the Socratic Dialogue by Plato, or um, 
social life of sciences and thinking with writing, where I learned about Dasson and Gallison's um, scient scientific um, perspective of objectivity. Um, and last semester, I took this um, course called Computational Problem Solving Matrix Unplugged, uh, where I learned about the nuances and concepts of encryption and blockchain technology. As you can see, a lot happening. And one might wonder or be concerned, it's what if it's so spread out, how would it link back to what I actually want in the career or in my future? But I realized that through these courses in NUS College, it is truly interdisciplinary because I can actually see them coming together, organically interconnecting, and it's showing up in my daily conversation with friends or even in my courses in business. Um, so I I definitely making a very it's a very fruitful experience for me. And beyond classes in NUS College, I I have opportunities. For example, there's Brain Food, which is a book club that we go through with a uh, with a professor at NUS College and with a group of friends. Uh, so over the past couple of semesters, I have uh, delved into Simone de Beauvoir's The Second Sex or dissecting the Times articles. Um, and I realized that there is this bi-directional flow of conversations and insights uh, that I really have come to appreciate. Moving on, how my community life is going, uh, I would say NUS College is truly my second home. It, it is a place where we come together to dine, to play together and work hard. And I have forged some of my best and strongest friendships through NUS College. So directing your attention to the top right screen, um, that that is me with my sweet friends. We call ourselves The Village uh, because there are almost 12 of us together. And uh, just last semester after our finals, we took a weekend trip we can get away to Bintan before summer started and everyone dispersed globally around the world doing our various activities. And um, every every evening we come together for dinner, we have fruitful conversations, whether it's just simply about how our weekend plans are going, are coming along, or even, for example, how uh, 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 capitalism is accentuated in the works of the Brothers Grimm stories, for example. Um, additionally, in NUS College, our community life, we have something called interest groups, uh, where it is a great way to go out there, explore your interests, whether it is Sina Cafe, where we can make coffee and matcha lattes and then share it with our friends, um, or there is MMA, mixed martial arts, for those who want to go out there and try that out. And this semester, I'm trying out something new, uh, tennis. I've always wanted to get into it. And I think it is a, it, it is providing me with a very uh, beginner friendly environment where I'm going out there unafraid uh, and learning new skills. So overall, I think it is a very wholesome place for me to, comf to, to be comfortable and uh, be courageous and explore. I believe that NUS College also provides us with lots of opportunities uh, to venture beyond our comfort zone and really understand what our true interests are as well. Um, I think this I would I would say that the special experiences, uh, uh, special experiential learnings are it's 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 what is helping me grow and continuously learn and uplift myself. Um, so, for example part of our impact experience project, which is two years long if you come into NUS College, uh, my teammates and I, we are leading sustainability initiatives in Sabah, Malaysia. So we're helping to provide stable solar power and uh, electricity through solar panels and generators to the uh, undocumented children in Sabah. So we have a reach of about three schools at the moment in the village. And uh, there's a group picture of us on the right of the screen. And this is us with all the kids from the schools and Prof Cancun, uh, who, who is guiding us along the way as well. Next, I was privileged and honored to be part of the Global Experience Project this year, where I was able to go to New York City and represent NUS College there. So we resided in Bernard College in Columbia University. And uh, me, along with all my friends and team, we got to dabble into and immerse ourselves into the culture in New York, uh, where we learned and had 
various conversations and fireside chats with domain experts in finance, media, diplomacy, and culture. So as you can see, we visited the Time headquarters there and got to have insightful conversations with the leads at Time. Uh, we went to the Met, for example, or the Museum of Modern Arts. Uh, we went to Statue of Liberty, and I think I had a lot of pizza and a lot of fun. Uh, so I think it is a great opportunity and right now I'm working on a thesis about how community comes together through street basketball in New York City. I've got another friend working on nonchalance in New York City or how the grid system uh, propagates connectivity uh, in the community. So it's lots of ideas, lots of diverse, uh, unique perspectives there being thrown and we're coming together and we get to experience this and I'm so grateful for it. Additionally, I had the opportunity to be the co-chairperson for the Asian Undergraduate Symposium in NUS College last year, uh, where we hosted over 150 international participants and thought leaders from across the region. And we hosted discussions and innovative solutions um, regarding the themes of sustainability, diversity, uh, and access to basic needs. So. Uh, there is me at the bottom of the bottom of the screen, me and my other co-chairperson, Aishran, and we were, this is us at the opening of uh, the AUS last year. And I think it is very exciting to see how uh, there's a, there's a succession of the inter iterations continuing and growing with greater collaborations now with the ASEAN University Network uh, in the region as well. And it is exciting to see us grow and uh, bring us all together and have uh, a um, sharing of ideas and discussions, ultimately making an impactful um, uh, event, uh, making an impact out there uh, and co in collaboration with our peers, not just in NUS, but actually beyond Singapore and ASEAN and Asia. Um, additionally, I think NUS colleges has multiple events that you can be part of. Uh, further equipping me with this identity that I'm so happy to have and be part of NUS College. So this was me and my friend Kyo uh, at our official NUS College launch last year, where uh, we our special guest of honor, Singapore's Minister of Education, Mr. Chan Chun Singh, was there as well to grace the event. Um, and it was, it was thrilling and exciting to be part of such an important milestone event for NUS College, really allowing me to be one with, with it. Um, and Building upon that, there have been so many fireside chats um, with domain experts. So NUS College has something called the Growth Mentoring Program also, where we they invite various speakers for students to get a chance to have an intimate uh, connection and chat with them to, to learn more about the various industries that they're also interested in. Um, so this was me and just a couple of them. And here is me, part of NUS College as an as an ambassador for NUS College, where I'm now. I have the platform to come here and share with all of you uh, what an exciting journey it has been in NUS College so far, and what I'm looking forward to next. Um, and I think that that is it for now. I will be passing my time back to Prof Quek to continue her sharing. So thank you so much. Thank you, Diksha. Let me share my screen. All right, it's all right. Everybody can see, right? Yeah, we can. Thank you. So, uh, I hope you have seen from Diksha sharing how exciting it was for her in NUS College and it's, so it is for other students as well. So here in NUS College, students enhance their basic NUS degree with a sum of three parts, the formal curriculum, experiential learning, and the community. Now I am going to give you an overview of each of these aspects so that you have a better idea of what this means. Excuse me, having some problems. Okay. All right, so the formal curriculum. Here in NUS College, we have curated an interdisciplinary curriculum that fulfills the competency aims of what we call the NUS Common Curriculum. So in NUS, there is a common curriculum. But here in NUS College, we have a special emphasis on interdisciplinarity, on global orientation, and also on fostering impactful change-making in communities. Oops. 
So in NUS, a student will spend about 38% of the coursework on fulfilling the major requirements and 33% on what we call the common curriculum that I mentioned. And if you are not in NUS college, you have to take a common curriculum within your own faculty. Then there is this last part of the pie that we call unrestricted electives. And here you can do anything that you want. So if an NUS student is also an NUS college student, you don't take more classes, but you replace part of that yellow sector, a large part of it with the NUS college curriculum. And it also takes up a little bit of the unrestricted elective space. So the difference here is that the NUS college curriculum has those special features that I have mentioned just now. And not only that, the experience is quite different because uh, in NUS college, our classes are all uh, small in size. So we have 20 to 25 students per class typically. And our students come from across the university. So what it will be like for you is that when you are in the classroom, it was going to be a small classroom and your classmates will come from different faculties in the university. So you might be taking a class and you are discussing the work with somebody from a different faculty. So let's say if you are in engineering, you'll be discussing with somebody from law, from business, and so on. So the idea then is to create this environment where you can uh, broaden your horizons by learning from one another uh, as you engage with the topics. And this is our curriculum. We have uh, the core critical competencies, the four courses, thinking with writing, reasoning with data, computational problem solving, understanding the social world, right? We also have global orientation, which is what I had mentioned earlier. Uh, these ones here, they actually stem from one of our founding institutions, the Yale and US College, and they are put together uh, by our faculty. And we have the making connections. These are interdisciplinary electives as well as impact experience project, which Diksha had mentioned just now. This is a, something like a capstone project and it's a team-based project. So thinking with writing, one of our core courses is actually one of the very uh, transformative courses here in NUS College. And these actually uh, come from another of our founding institutions, the University Scholars Program, and where they are award-winning courses. So thinking with writing really uh, is there to help our students learn how to write to address different target audiences. And you actually can get to choose from a basket of options with different topics. So these here are some of the topics. And each class here has fewer than 20 students. Right. And so there is a lot of time that you have with the professor and you can get help from them as well as with the peer support in, uh, that's available through the NUS libraries. So this is what some of our students say about th the Thinking with Writing course. And you can read this for yourself as you can see. It, indeed, um, this engineering science major says it is a transformative experience. And I hear this actually from our alumni. We also have uh, an emphasis on STEM, on science, technology, and science and technology. And so here we have actually an experiential learning course on biodiversity and natural history in Singapore. All right, and there's a lot of field work. Uh, you get to collect insects, catch insects, and you know, you know, take care of them. Right. And this is what some of our students say, it changes their world view. Okay, so those are just some examples. And remember that those courses there belong to this segment of the pie and the pie doesn't increase in size. Uh, instead of a pie chart, you can visualize it as a bar chart as well. And here, I just want to uh, give a few examples. So uh, you can see that even with the NUS college curriculum here, there is the unrestricted electives, and this allows you to actually still tailor 
your, your coursework yourself according to your preference. So for example, if you are taking a physics major, you can still decide to take a second major or minor, for example, in philosophy. Or uh, if you are interested in studying uh, more physics courses, for example, because you want to do a PhD, you may still do so and deep, uh, you know dive deep into physics uh, while still having that breadth that comes from the NUS college curriculum that helps you to gain that skill set. Clara is from law. So you can see that for law, you actually have a substantial number of courses for your major, but don't worry, you don't have to overload because accordingly, we have cut back on the NUS college curriculum requirements for our law students and still have significant unrestricted elective space. In the last bar, I want to just give a shout out for our NUS Sciences Pro double degree program that is available only for these four majors. And this is a double degree program that involves uh, our students getting their degree from more than one university. So here, NUS and Sciences Po in France. And uh, the students, it's a four-year program. They spent four, two years in Sciences Po and two years in NUS College. I talked about tailoring your degree, uh, your curriculum here. So in NUS college and here in NUS, you have access to a whole wide range of multidisciplinary programs. Some of them are selected at admissions and some of them you can declare after you get admitted. And there is more information on this on the NUS website. These are Many of these are available to NUS college students as well. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to move on to the next part, experiential learning. So this means learning through experience. And recall that we want to break open the classroom. And that really means to go beyond the classroom. We can, you have seen that already in even the uh, biodiversity class that we had uh, in our formal curriculum. But in addition, there are other uh, things like our capstone project, the impact experience, as well as our global pathways that is a requirement. So the Impact Experience Project is actually a team project and we require the team of students to come from different degree majors so that they can work together and complement one another in coming up with these ideas for their projects. And importantly, the Impact Experience Project is not a service learning type of project, but it is one where you are supposed to be using what you learn through your NUS degree and apply that to solve you know, a wicked problem in the society. And we, we do have projects that have a longer term horizon that might eventually be passed on to the next cohort of students as well. So these are the kinds of projects that we are talking about. And we provide a resource and mentorship for this. So this is one example of an impact experience project in Southeast Asia. So we have Southeast Asian projects as well as projects in, in Singapore. So here, uh, our students are working with the farmers in Thailand uh, to, to avoid wastage of bananas and to help them to uh, market these bananas and do branding and, uh, and, uh, and to promote sustainability. So we talked about the Impact Experience Project here. I'm going to mention the Global Pathways, which is compulsory in US college. And this is supported by financial aid and grants. So essentially, this means that we require our students to go overseas at least once. There are different options available. So we had the Impact Experience Project in Southeast Asia that will count. We also have the traditional student exchange programs, either within your own degree-bearing faculty or the bespoke ones that we have in NUS College. We have the double degree programs that involve a university from overseas, as you saw the NUS Sean's Po double degree program. And we have the NUS Overseas College. NUS Overseas College refers to a program in NUS where our students study and work overseas. They work in a startup overseas. So in NUS College, if you are interested in that, we do provide a green lane access within NUS 
uh, but but you still need to get your secure your internship overseas. And finally, we have our flagship program, which you had heard Diksha mention, the Global Experience Course. So the Global Experience Course is a course that our students take to learn about a specific theme related to a particular city. It the, the, You actually go out for one month in the summer period, but before that and after that, there is work. Before that, you have to do uh, have a few lectures and seminars, and after that, there are some assignments. And, and it is for you to reflect and learn from the cities that you visit, right? And it is a very curated program, and our students get to... Uh, you know, uh, visit the UN, for example, uh, they get to meet with uh, key players in the field. And these are some of the themes associated with different cities. Okay, in addition, we also have uh, as well uh, other kinds of double degree programs that I would like to highlight. There is one with Waseda, uh, it's a double degree program uh, available to anybody in the College of Humanities and Sciences and NUS College. Here are also our own student exchange programs. So more example, a deep dive into a global experience. Uh, here on the left uh, is uh, our photos from a global experience team in New York City. And on the right, uh, that would be for Tokyo. And you can see that our students are actually uh, learning about the seven minute miracle of cleaning Japan's bullet trains. And you know they then you can get to learn from them and think about how you can apply it in your own country or for your other kinds of problems. All right. So breaking open the classroom is not just about for the formal curriculum and experiential learning, but also the fact that our students are in a community and they have very informal discussions in this community. So let's meet some of our people in NUSC. So these are some of our faculty members. Uh, Associate Professor Peter Vale was just uh, uh, awarded the uh, the University Outstanding uh, Educator Award in 2024. And our faculty members are diverse and they are very dedicated. We also have a very strong pastoral care system in our college because we are a faculty with compulsory residential components. So we have masters of the college who live on campus. We also have residential fellows. These are faculty members also who stay with our students on campus. We have residential student life managers and our own residential assistants who are students as well and a whole host of wellness related services in the university. This is also our student life team. Uh, we have the, the students who form the NUS College Club and we the, the deanery members work with them uh, through to and understand the needs of the students. All right, so let's also meet with our students. Let's hear our students. So I'm trying to play this video. My name is Gotham. Greetings from New York. I'm Clara. I'm Ian. And Elvis. Vidisha Kapoor. Felix in Delta, Jakarta. So I was drawn to NUS College due to its focus on interdisciplinary learning, where I get to explore topics that are outside of my own major, as well as meet people across the different faculties in NUS. What really called out to me was the synergy of the unique broad-based curriculum, um, common curriculum that's specific to NUS College. So what I like most about NUS College, and the reason why I joined it, is because it offers me the freedom and exposure to read beyond my major. It allows me to critically think about relevant issues today that affect our lives, and I'm able to do this in a small class size in a fun atmosphere. I'm a person who enjoys uh, learning from different disciplines and sort of combining it into forming my own uh, new skill set. What is really exciting to me is um, the two year long impact experience project in NUS College. And it's the prospect of working together in teams where our diverse academic backgrounds congregate to synthesize innovative and impactful solutions um, for real life challenges is what's really attractive to me. 
the environment of the USC that nurtures this um, sense of belonging for people from all different nationalities and backgrounds. And it allows me to learn from people, like the different amount, the vast amounts of knowledge and stories that we can learn from people. I think that's one of the biggest things about the USC that I appreciate. And I honestly miss a lot of my holidays. I think additionally, something that I really enjoy with the NUS college experience so far is uh, the community itself, the friends that I've made in it the connections and the relationships that we have established as a community itself where everyone is kind of judged with their they're quite uh, tightly bonded and well, one thing I really enjoy about the community is how everyone is willing and able to contribute to the community to just make their voices heard and make the community a better place. In the community life here is quite vibrant. I've met a lot of people uh, that's all catered to my different interests. So sports, I play football, frisbee, volleyball and a range of other sports. So there's a lot of things that's going on. I feel that every day there's just so much uh, going on and we really feel uh, included in the community itself. Uh, after being in NUS College for over two years, I can simply say that I'm glad I came here. Uh, the best part of NUS College is this ground up culture where you as a student get to create initiatives and events for students as a student. And uh, that's something I really love and adore about NUS College is filled with a vibrant student life, a vibrant residential life, an uh, enriching curriculum, and that's really summing up the entire NUS College experience for me. If you're a person who really wants to make the most of, out of their university experience, that they want to experience sports, academics, you know, meet a lot of people who have their own unique passion projects and interests, and I would say that NUS College is the perfect place for you. All in all, NUSC, it's an amazing environment. Uh, all the events are also amazing, and I miss them a lot. And I look forward to coming back to Singapore to meet all of my friends and to join in all those fun events. And after my internship is done, see you guys and have a great summer. Great. Thank, uh, thank you for listening so far. I'm now going to hand over to Diksha to continue with her sharing of, of what she's excited for uh, coming up. So what am I excited for? I would say this is the perfect summary I can give everybody here. I'm excited for my upcoming internships, more special projects to take part in, um, the growth that not just me, but all of us together are going through our university journey here at NUS College through these so many different diverse and varying experiences, um, as, as well as continuously um, forging friendships, networking, uh, and of course, my academics. Uh, so all of it congregating together. I'm looking forward to how the remaining two years of my university life at NUS College are going to span out, and I'm looking forward to what's beyond that's uh that was in a very very quick nutshell um um what it is all about so thank you so much okay so i'm just going to give a quick summary and then we'll continue with the q and a already so in summary here in nus college we want to break open the classroom and we can do this by different ways the first is to build that interdisciplinary community to challenge and open minds and we engage our students as active contributors in this learning environment. We provide a residential program that encourages exploration and growth. And we also would like our students to go beyond academics through our global and impact experiences. So join us as an NUS college student if you want to enhance your basic NUS degree. If you are interested in deep diving into interdisciplinary subjects, you really enjoy uh, being intellectually curious as well, and you are interested in being learning more about global or global affairs, or thinking about um, how how different thinking about different perspectives from uh, different uh, people, including different people from different countries. And you want to grow with us in this diverse community. And of course, if you are interested in making an impact on the community around you, you can do that here in NUS College. We do have scholarships available. This is a, a list that is continually being updated. So do check out our website as well for the most up-to-date information. And... Uh, as Ben mentioned, this is the first of a series of webinars. Uh, today's webinar is the, the, the most general one in the in the next the next few ones are a little bit more specific on the global pathways, the NUSC curriculum, student life, admissions tips. And we have our in-person meet and greet as well in collaboration with the College of Humanities and Sciences. 
You can scan that QR code there to learn more about the events. If you have questions, you can contact us using our contact us form. Do check out our website. It has a lot of information. And thank you. To get a copy of uh, slides that are typically used, uh, you can scan this uh, QR code here and also join our mailing list so that you can be reminded uh, of any webinars or our open house uh, and come if you're interested. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much, Prof Quack. Okay, so maybe we'll leave this uh, slide on the screen for about a minute or so in case uh, anyone who's interested can scan uh, to join our mailing list or to get a copy of the slides. So do if you are interested in any of our future events, be it online or in person, please do uh, scan it so that you will be able to receive updates whenever, whenever we do um, any form of outreach and then you can get a clearer picture of NUS College, particularly for the in-person events if you're interested in visiting visiting our campus, finding more about our resources or meeting some of us in person, that is also, um, that will also be happening very soon. All right. So before we go into the Q&A, just a reminder to check the webinar chat function. So Winnie has been uh, very dedicated, uh, they're very dedicated in posting um, all sorts of useful resources for you guys. So things ranging from our double degree program, our events page and our application, important admissions information. Uh, these are very useful resources that you may need to uh, refer to or you may want to consult when you're making your decision about your university application. All right, so now we'll, uh, let's invite uh, Prof. Quack, Diksha, and Clara to join us. So we will be answering a few questions uh, that we're receiving in the Q&A. Another reminder that um, Q &A, uh, the Q&A feature is open, so please do um, submit any questions you would like to ask. All right, so um, the first question um, that maybe I can pose to uh, you guys is um, from an anonymous attendee that's asking that, uh, how are components of the NUS faculty curriculum that are replaced by the NUSC curriculum chosen? What is there anything that might be lost from the NUS common curriculum? So very luckily, we have Clara, who is studying law, and Diksha, who is studying business. So maybe you can share with us from your own experiences and your own disciplines what you feel the NUSC curriculum adds for you. Okay, maybe Clara, you can go first. Okay, so maybe if I can go first. Um, so basically by being in NUS college, we take a couple of modules that en enhance our skills out of the legal skills that we learn in NUS law. So to me, this is actually very helpful because in the working world, um, in the future, especially in the world of the future, there are many things outside of legal skills that we have to apply even as lawyers. Um, so for instance, um, the soft skills that we gather and also skills like technical skills and um, basically being good with numbers. And these are the kind of things that I'm able to get using my NUSC curriculum because we take modules in like math related and data analysis related classes as well in NUS college. And to top it off, I get to study these courses with people who major in the specific courses like such as um, people in computer science or people in data analytics. So not only can I learn from my teachers or my profs, but I'm also able to pick up a skill or two from my classmates and get guidance in areas that I'm struggling with. Yeah. Thank you, Clara. Um, I think just building upon that, I feel um, what NUS College adds, and I believe that Prof Quack has also mentioned this in her sharing, um, I love the aspect of the small class sizes because it presents to me a very intimate setting where I'm able to um, more confidently speak up, debate, ask questions, and critically um, uh, reflect about what's being taught in class. Uh, and I think that is something very unique and very specific to NUS College, the small class sizes. Um, in addition to that, I, I believe that um, a lot of the segments of NUS College, the classes that we undergo, um, they take components of the wider NUS, the curriculum out there. For example, Singapore Studies, we have a course called um, 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 NSW, uh, where we go out there, uh, we have site visits and field visits uh, to 
a place of our choice in Singapore, we take notes and we analyze and then present our findings. So it's a it, it takes on that sociological lens, um, and then we can link it up to any topic that we wish to do. So it's a very Singapore Singapore focused, for example. And then, like Clara mentioned, there's a quantitative aspect to it. Uh, Matrix unplugged computational problem solving. So we have courses uh, that do align itself to what the, the overview and what uh, the broader overview of NUS is. So it aligns itself to that. And at the same time, we have uh, the cherry on top, for example, uh, small class sizes, um, intimate settings, closed knitted community inside the classroom itself, where we're engaging with different uh, students from different academic backgrounds to hear their unique perspectives on that one talking point. Hey, great. Thanks so much, Clara and Diksha. Really, really great answers. So just once again, if you're more interested in the academic uh, aspect of NUS College, we do have a college webinar on November 9th, Saturday, which will actually do a deep dive into the curriculum of NUS College and what you can expect from that. All right. So maybe our next question, I'll pose it to both the students and the profs, uh, because both of you will have very different perspectives on this. But basically, the question is, what makes NUSC so distinctive? So from I'm sure that from a, a teacher's or educator's perspective and from a student's perspective, there's something that's special about NUS College. So maybe you can share more about from the students, what makes your life so interesting, what makes your life so distinctive. And from the teacher educator perspective, Prof Quack, you can share maybe what um, you enjoy seeing in our students. Um, okay, so maybe Prof Quack, you can go first. All right. So I have, uh, I actually teach in the Faculty of Science. I teach physics there and I do have some NUS college uh, students as well as part of um, part of my uh, student cohort. Uh, so as I get to know the NUS college students better, I do find that they, they actually enjoy learning in an environment where they learn by questioning and where they where they uh, get to discuss their work. And I, I think it is your, it's the preference, I think, in the uh, kind of learning style that a student has, I think, that, that makes them want to come to NUS College and enjoy NUS College. Um, and outside of the classroom, I would say that in my interaction with NUS College students, I am actually really excited when I see how they are really immersed in the community here and they actually spend spend effort not only in their academics but also for example in in various activities as you have uh, seen in the sharing by Diksha but let me just raise one so I attended the uh, there's a play that is uh, that was organized by the students last year and I came out of the play being quite really very very really, really impressed. Okay, it was like going to West End to watch a play because it was so intellectually stimulating and engaging. And I really thought that, oh wow, NUS college students, when they even when they are coming up with a play, they really uh, put their heart and soul into it and also their brains to come up with something that is uh, so intellectually engaging. So yeah, that is what is my impression about NUS College. I think that the college community is uh, still still growing and um, the culture will also uh, continue to be organically uh, uh, evolved. Yeah, and, and right now we are actually, uh, we, we just uh, decided on a mascot, but we haven't announced it yet. It was the, the community has voted on a mascot, yeah. Okay, over to you, uh, Diksha and Clara. Sure. Thank you so much, Prof Quick. I think building upon um, your point on community, I, I agree with you. Uh, I think it is my fifth semester here and NUS College at its core is everything I had imagined it to be and beyond. And one big reason for that is uh, the people around me uh, who I'm engaging and interacting with on a daily basis. So I think it's um we're very close knitted. I'm surrounded by this hardworking unlike yet like-minded group of people uh, stemming from diverse intellectual backgrounds um, and working hard together. Um, I think it, it's it's this together we're undergoing this melting pot of multicultural experiences. Um, 
where diverse perspectives and ideas are congregating on a table and then we're able to have this cross-functional flow of ideas and uh, insights. And I believe that I'm 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 re I'm really excited to explore my areas of passion and grow to become even more of an inquisitive, courageous, and empathetic leader uh, in our global community. And I think we're all striving to do that together. So it is really exciting to watch us from year one and now almost to the end of university life. It is an exciting journey so far. Great, thanks so much, Diksha. So maybe Clara, you can say a few words as well. Okay, I think Diksha has talked about a lot of things and um, she also mainly emphasized on the diversity in the community, which is something that I think is very distinctive, makes NUS College very distinctive to me as well. But I think more than the diversity, um, the people in NUS College are very generous with the ideas and very generous with their skill sets. And um, basically for me, um, one final example that I can give you guys where I really observe this is the two day long collective fair that we host every year where students will set up their own booths that offer various activities such as from making tea for others to teaching their friends how to play an instrument, like sharing their skills. So I think for me, it's this unique blend of people, but also the generosity that everybody has um, that makes NUS College distinctive from, from other programs. Great, thank you so much. Okay, um, we are running a bit short on time, so it's almost 3 p.m. So um, I, there are still a few questions in the Q&A that everyone is answering. So once again, just a reminder that to keep your eyes out for any future webinars, because some of the concerns regarding admissions, um, student life, curriculum, we will be doing a deep dive into that. All right, so maybe we will wrap up this session, but before we go, um, I'd like to invite all three of our panelists to maybe share some closing remarks or uh, any feedback or any um, comments, encouragement, words of encouragement you have for our attendees today. So maybe Prof Kat will start with you. All right, I, I just wanted to say, I mean, I, I, I replied to a, a question just now, but just to say to all of you that, if you feel that these things are important to you uh, to have uh, good critical thinking skills, problem-solving skills, and to make an impact in society, just apply. Don't have, a, don't have that kind of a imposter syndrome complex. Just apply because we are all, and I'm sure Diksha and Clara will agree with me, we are all a work in progress. And, you know, we, we don't need you to be, you know, fully blossomed before you come in because otherwise, what's our role? So just apply and uh, I hope to, to see you and come for our open house. Yes. Great. Thank you so much, Prof. Quack. Diksha? Sure. Thank you. I believe that I think if you're excited by the prospect of venturing beyond your comfort zone, uh, courageously exploring something new every day, and that could just be discovering a new Indomie recipe with fried egg at 1 a.m. in our little buttery at uh, NUS College, uh, while also having fun every day in the community, then I believe NUS College is a perfect place for you. And I'm looking forward to meeting and interacting with all of you uh, very soon. And I hope to keep in touch. Great. Um, Clara may not be available right now. So um, maybe, oh, Clara is available. Okay, welcome back, Clara. Okay, so maybe Clara, you can share your closing remarks. Okay, Um, I'm so sorry. I accidentally off my video just now. But... Um, I think I hope that we've really given you a clearer idea of what to expect as an NUS college student. And I understand that even at this point in time, even if you think you want to apply, you might still have like your doubts about NUS college. So what I want to do is to encourage you guys to come down for our future outreach events. Um, there'll be a series, whole series of webinars in the next couple of weeks. And you guys can sign up to find out more about the different aspects of NUS college and really like solidify your decision before you apply. Great. Thank you so much, Clara. So uh, on behalf of all of us here at NUS College, I'd like to thank you guys for coming down, spending the past hour with us. And I hope that you have gotten a great, clearer picture of who we are as NUS College and what we offer. So um, thank you very much again for your time and I wish you a great day ahead. Bye-bye.